beautiful. If this is your first time here, I'm an intuitive turn or a creator. Now, my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is getting fine with you. If today is not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about what is or what will be your first impression of your future spouse, you know, depending on whether you have already met them or not. But yeah, it was a suggestion of one of you guys, so thank you very much for that. If you're watching this in the future um, and I've already recorded the next reading, I will make sure to link it up here because tomorrow I'm gonna upload a reading the other way around. So what will be your future spouse's first impression of you? So yeah, feel free to check it out if you're watching this in the future. But I've already recorded those readings, I feel like maybe nine months ago. But one of you guys wanted an energy update, plus um, I know I've got a lot of new subscribers, so yeah, I think it's gonna be very fun to record it again. But yeah, my dear, as always, I have three pounds for you to choose from. Also, my dear, if you haven't joined me on my second channel where it's all about zodiac signs in which I give weekly energy updates, also monthly energy updates, plus exclusive pick a card readings and candle wax readings regarding your zodiac sign, yeah, then feel free to watch it or join me there. I'm gonna link it up there. But yeah, as always, I have three pals for you to choose from. For pal one, we have the beautiful card of the Ace of Cups. Pile 2 is the Lover's card and Pile 3 is going to be the Two of Cups. So as always, my dear, feel free to pause the video or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box but also in the comments section. And also, my dear, if you're interested in a personal reading or you would like to get further information regarding one, of course, you can also feel free to email me. Lastly, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, <laughs> let's begin. Hey, pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now, let's see. What will be your first impression of your future spouse? So let's see, for my dear pile one, for my dear pile one, what will be your first impression of your future spouse? Let's see, for my dear pile one, Okay, this is like such um, a random message that I'm picking up on here, but I feel like someone watching this is very hungry. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> like, okay, um, anyways, let's continue. So for my dear um, Kyle one, let's see. What will be your first impression of your future spouse? Kyle one. All right, that's enough. So let's see. For my dear pile one. Okay, so we have two cards coming through. Um, one of them is the, all right, the chariot card. Oops. And let me, oh my goodness, <laughs> let me first get the other card. It fell on the floor. All right, so we got as well the page of cups. Let me first make sure this one is secure. Um, all right. And we have the Chariot card, the Page of Cups, all right. Okay, then let's continue. So let's see, for my dear Pile One, what will be your first impression of your future spouse? For my dear Pile One, okay. Oh, wow, there is a lot of gentle cup energy here. Like the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, that's very interesting. Okay, so let's see. Too many cards. The Eight of Cups, <laughs> more Cups energy. Like, so far, that's all water energy. Like, even the Chariot card signifies Cancer. But, I mean, I'm not looking into the Zodiac signs. This is just something that I noticed here. 
for my dear pile one, please. Let's see. Too many cards. Oops. So, for my dear pile one. Okay, so we got the hanged man. What is their first impression? What is pile one's first impression? The future spouse. Oh, okay. All right. We got the Eight of Pentacles and one last card, please. From my dear pile one. And we got the Page of Wands. Wow, look at that. At the back of the deck, you guys got the Four of Wands. That's so nice. Literally, the card that signifies marriage is your first. I'm sorry, is your overall energy here. <laughs> Interesting. So, my dear, pile one, what I'm seeing, so what's, or, or what will be your first impression of your future spouse? So, the first thing that I can say is that, um, okay, I'm already getting kind of a scenario here, um, you know, also a little bit of, like, how you guys, like, how the first interaction could look like, right? Um, like, there is a lot coming through and obviously if we look into the first impression we also um like it also depends on the circumstances right and what i'm picking up on first of all is that um your first impression of your future spouse is gonna be very very lovely like um i feel like your future spouse is gonna approach you um they are definitely gonna approach you um okay it depends um the divine masculine is gonna approach the divine feminine. Put, let me put it that way. So you see for yourself, um, you know, what resonates with you. But what I'm picking up on is that the divine masculine is gonna approach the divine feminine. And what's gonna happen is that um, the divine masculine um, is gonna approach the divine feminine in a very respectful and very gentle manner. You know, um, like very good mannered and um, like <laughs> I don't want to bring like some fantasy things in here, but um, what I heard like was a very charming and heartwarming um way. You know, like literally with Ned of Cups here, it really um, like it looks a little bit like Prince Charming, right? Like someone on the white horse, um. But what I mean is that your future spouse um, is going to approach you um, in a very um, respectful manner. And your first impression of them is going to be a very, very good one. Um, you're going to see them as someone who who's very noble, someone who's um, very good looking, very put together, also very gentle and kind like this is someone you're gonna see as very very kind at least the way they're gonna approach you you know it's gonna be very very like um it's gonna be like that and i feel like this is gonna be someone you know who will have a very nice voice and also their um their body like you know gesture the way they carry themselves the way they move um is really going to be signif like, um, significant for you and you're going to notice those things and you're really going to be impressed by it. it they're going to get your intention, you know. So your first impression of your future spouse regarding um, them for now is definitely a very, very positive one. In fact, with the four of wands being here, I mean, what are the odds? Like... <laughs> What are the odds of you getting the four of wands as the overall energy? For a lot of you guys, you may already sense that this is your future spouse. Um, maybe some of you guys, you already know them, or even if you don't know them, um, then maybe it's your intuition, or maybe it's just um, you recognizing them, but I feel like you're gonna know it, you know, you're gonna have this feeling, um, that this is someone that you could actually, yeah, be committed once, in a, oh, I'm sorry, be committed one day with, you know, or two. So yeah, that's really what I'm seeing here. Another um, impression you're gonna have of your future spouse, with the chariot card being the first card especially, your future spouse is gonna come off somehow, um, okay, as very, very, um, 
successful or um, as someone who like there's something about them you know you they could have a certain something you know like which society would see as prestige or status you know that's coming through something sociable um, regarding that you know like they're coming off as someone who you know may have, again may has some um, like let's say again some status or maybe it's the way they carry themselves the way the things they wear maybe it somehow brings that um, like signifies that okay um, it could be different for every each one of you guys but that's what I'm seeing and um, like it will be obvious that um, there is something about them, you know, there is something with the chariot being here. The chariot is about the champion archetype, right? So, yeah, you will notice that this person, for some of you guys, they could even have a following, um, you know, of some sort. Or you may see other people kind of giving them a lot of attention. That could also be the case. Maybe this will kind of make you wonder whether this person is of importance, okay? When I say importance... I mean like those, let's say, um, like societal, um, you know, like norms when it comes to certain, let's say, um, socioeconomic, you know, levels, um, because obviously no one is more important than the other. We are all equal, but this is, this is a very kind of ego, um, or yeah, a very ego, um, way, you know, of, of seeing that. But that's what's coming through, so yeah, I need to give the message out. So that's what I'm seeing, um, because you can see they are up there, and um, like it looks like they're very respected. So your future spouse could be respected in their community, or somehow, um, maybe they're even just good looking, so they're getting a lot of attention. That could also be the case. Um, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm also getting the energy that um, there will be something very different about your future spouse and you're going to notice that. And um, I feel like you're really going to think about that. You know, you're going to think about this difference um, that's, you know, in their life um, or maybe even could be anything. Like, I'm not getting anything specific, um, so I will not put anything specific out there. But as an example, it could be age, it could be background, it could be socioeconomic things, um, literally anything, you know, with the chariot, if there is some kind of travel involved in here, because the chariot can also indicate travel energy, maybe um, there is some distance, like, you know, you could meet somewhere where um, it's not their place or your, like, it, it is, you know, there could be also those kind of differences here, but... Um, Regarding of that, so there's going to be something different um, and you're going to notice it and I feel like you're going to really kind of think about it a lot, you know, like you're going to think about, okay, um, this difference that we have, like, um, like, it's almost like you're going to really analyze it, you know. Like you may be analyzing it, thinking about whether this could be a deal breaker or whether this could be um, an obstacle, you know, you're gonna really think about it a lot. But what I'm getting is that eventually you're actually gonna, um, you know, accept the fact that differences can actually also be a lot, you know, or bring a lot of expansion in our life. You know, with the hanged man, the hanged man is an expansion or is kind of. The energy of seeing something through another um, view, you know, like looking at something differently. So I feel like those differences or whatever they are in your perception, you're not going to really think like um, they're going to be like too much of a deal breaker because you're going to see them from another, you know, view. Let's say as an example, um... Okay, this is just an example here, okay? So I'm not saying that those things are gonna resonate with you, but I need to explain myself. Um, so let's say there is some difference in age here. Maybe people would judge those, because do people judge anything? Like, <laughs> people judge anything, okay, first of all. Um, but let's just, con you know, 
say that there could be a difference and you may, may be thinking about oh my goodness like maybe like my parents will judge me or maybe whoever you know someone may judge this but then you're gonna think about what wait a minute this chain or this difference in age can also be so um like you know great because we may teach each other you know a lot because we've come from two different point of views from two as an example generations or you know whatever it is and um we could actually you know help the other person to expand the horizon or to also kind of um yeah you know show the other person another view to see things so that's just an example here but you're gonna actually then start to see the good thing you know regarding the differences so again it's not gonna be like a deal breaker for you mm -mm. it more so feels like um you're gonna think maybe other people will have something about you know to say about it but i mean people talk always so that's not a surprise um continuing now um another thing that i'm picking up on is that it could be the case that your future spouse will approach you pretty pretty fast and um it may take you um for like it may surprise you a little bit or you may even feel like it's a little bit no um mm -mm. No, I don't feel like you're gonna um, see this as too soon or too fast because you actually want to know this person. So when they come off or, or when they come towards you with an offering um, or with a suggestion um, or just, you know, telling you that they really would be like to, um, they would really would like to get to know you more, it's not gonna be fast for you. Mm -mm. You know, the chariot card is very fast moving energy, the eight of wands anyways, um, but it's actually a positive, you know, like at least, I mean, this is your view, right? This is how you're going to see it. Like, I'm not here saying whether this is good or bad. Um, we're just picking up on your energies here. So what I'm seeing is that you're actually going to be very, very happy about um, them approaching you so fast because I feel like, especially from your, um, like from your point of view, you would actually want this to grow fast or really develop fast you know um so your future spouse is going to approach you with an offering um or with an offer i'm sorry <laughs> with an offer um yeah very very fast like you could you could see yourself um like you could see each other i'm sorry for the first time here and they may already come your way and you know like ask you who you are and you know you may kind of start um contact from there on but that's what i'm seeing here you're also gonna have the impression of them um two things first of all they will be very very romantic um again they're gonna be very very gentle as well they could even talk in a very gentle way um and another thing that i see yeah they may even like they may flirt with you they may be very charming you know very charismatic that's really what i'm picking up on and another thing is that you're going to notice one way or another that they are, um, they like work is a huge part of their life. Like they are someone who's um, very occupied with their work. You know, they could be um, in a field in which, you know, they just need to work a lot or um, actually with the page of wands and the eight of pentacles being here, this person loves what they're doing. They love their career um they're very passionate about it um this could be one thing or it could also be the case that this person does multiple things let's say they have a main career and then they have a side hustle which they are really passionate about so it could even be the case that um they do as well something else and this is why they are so occupied you know with like mm, like with career but they are definitely a very um like with the page of wands being here, I love, okay, I love the page of wands. Um, it's such beautiful energy, especially like let's say someone being in the page of wands energy and um your future spouse for sure is someone who, you know, has great ideas, um, someone who is very creative, very innovative as well. And 
like they are the one let's say who always comes up with uh, the greatest ideas um with great projects with new um projects right so yeah they're very passionate about what they're doing either their main job or their main like a side hustle that they're really 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 passionate about which is then more so in the creative field could be the case here yeah Another thing, um, you know, first impression that you're going to pick up on is that, okay, um, I feel like for sure, um, I mean, obviously, <laughs> you're going to know it somehow, you know, maybe this person's going to talk about this, or you may hear that from someone else around, you know, someone talking about them, and then someone, um, you know, telling you that, but... I feel like there's, or maybe, you know, someone, either them or someone else is going to talk to you about um, them had like some kind of, let's say, darker period in their life in which they had to leave something, you know, um, which was not easy. You know, this person has had, let's say, um, with the Eight of Cups being here, something that they had to left in their life. It could be a relationship, but it could also be a career choice. But they have um, done their sacrifices in life. And um, yeah, this is just something that um, that you're going to catch up on. But I'm wondering whether this is something they're going to share with you. Or again, whether you're going to find it out through, you know, about it through another um, person or somehow but um i don't feel like it's something or a period in their life that they really like to talk about that much or um that openly so i'm not quite sure um whether this is something they will actually talk like tell you firsthand about especially not in the first interactions i don't feel like that but i mean it could be the case that you're gonna you know, have great conversations, really deep conversations, and you're going to dive into each other's life, and maybe those hints will come up, you know, it really depends, right, um, but that's what I'm seeing here as well, yeah, so, um, with the four of wands, again, being the overall energy, um, honestly speaking, it could be the case that, um, Either you are, you know, a dreamer and like a daydreamer or you're just someone who really likes to imagine things, you know, like um, it could be the case that you literally are already kind of imagining um, this being your future spouse or again, this just being your intuition, which is going to kind of, um, you know, make you kind of recognize them as someone very significant. But it depends, right? It depends. But the four of wands being here, you're definitely going to have thoughts regarding them, like marrying them or them perhaps being your future spouse. This is how I would describe it. Yeah. So my dear pile one, please feel free to let me know yeah, how you feel about this reading. And if it resonated or you would like to share something, feel free to do so. Also feel free to like comment or subscribe if you haven't if you would like to connect with me more on instagram of course you can feel free to follow me as the um i can't talk <laughs> to follow me there as well and if you're interested in a personal reading you can also feel free to email me my dear pal one i hope you're having a beautiful day and yeah i'm sending you much love and positive energy take care Hey pal two, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see, what will be your first impression of your future spouse? So let's see, for my dear pal two, for my dear pal two, what will be your first impression of your future spouse? So let's see. Dear pile two, what will be their first impression of their future spouse? One last shuffle. What will be your first impression of your future spouse? All right. Let's 
see. For my dear pile two, what will be your first impression of your future spouse? All right, so we got the hanged men. For my dear pile, whoops. For my dear pile, what the? <laughs> For my dear pile two. All right, we got the king of swords. We got the two of swords. We got the nine of wands. I'm gonna straighten the cards in a minute. I just first want to get the cards. We got the hermit. For my dear pile two, what will be your first impression? Um, okay, we got the ten of swords, um, the ten of wands, <laughs> ten of pentacles, what's happening? So what will be your first impression of your future spouse? All right, the hierophant. And one last card, please. All right, and the four of cups. At the back of the deck, we have the three of pentacles. Um, let me first make sure all the cards, yeah. All the cards are definitely visible. Mm, put them, I would want to put them a little bit more like straight there. Okay. All right. Okay. So my dear pile two. Okay. What I'm seeing is that, um, Okay, I feel like you're gonna, or one of the first impressions of your future spouse is that your future spouse could be coming off a little bit like intimidating or um, mm, like a little bit like as if they're not interested, you know, with the king of swords being here. They could be minding your own, like, I'm sorry, they could be minding their own business, you know, um, like, it depends, of course, in what kind of scenario you will meet each other, right? Um, but I feel like they're going to do their own thing. And first of all, you're not going to even notice that, um, that they're into you, you know, because this is someone who is very good at um, shielding their emotions or, um, you know, kind of holding um their inside a secret so it is very difficult actually to read this person um <laughs> so you're not gonna notice that you know then you're not gonna notice that um they're gonna be interested so what's gonna be your first impression of them again i feel like you're gonna see them as someone who um like okay that's interesting some of you guys could have been drawn to pal one as well. Um, if this is the case, then feel free to watch it because I'm getting a message here. I'm hearing it loud and clear, um, which also came through there. Um, I feel like some like you're gonna see your future spouse as someone who's very respected. Like there's you know with the king of swords and with the hierophant, as you can see, both those um, archetypes, those people are sitting somewhere up there, and then they're like people looking um up to them so <sighs> there could be something um that your future spouse is going to be respected for you know you may see them like even if you don't know your future spouse you're not going to know up what they're up to um the way others approach them or the way up others um you know let's say mm, co like respond to them it's going to be in a very respectful way it could be the case for some that you meet this person in some kind of like, let's say, um, formal scenario, um, some kind of form formal, let's say, event or um, place, maybe even career, but like somewhere where people are very put together and people are yeah very formal with, with each other for sure. This doesn't feel like somewhere um, or I mean, it could even be somewhere casual, but the thing is, I mean, I'm picking up on your energy or better to say how you're going to view your future spouse and you're not going to view them as someone casual. So <laughs> that's what I'm seeing here. And yeah, you're going to see them, like you're going to get this impression as if this could be um, someone who 
you know, other people look up to or like there's something about them, you know, um, you're going to notice about like you're going to notice that for sure. But at the same time, um, you're going to kind of not be open to approach them or to um, like they're going to fascinate you. You know, they're going to be mysterious. That's the word. Yeah, they're going to come off as very mysterious. Um, and also with the King of Swords and the Hermit being here, you're going to feel like this person is someone who is very experienced. Um, okay, and also someone who who's pretty calculated or very smart, you know. Maybe the way they're going to articulate themselves. Um, you know, you can somehow going to catch up on the fact that this must be someone who, um, for some reason, you know, someone who may be really, like, um, wise or someone who is very well read, you know, something about their intellect here. Um, but not only intellect, yeah, I'm hearing... I'm hearing intellect, intelligence, that's what I'm hearing here. Well, with the King of Swords, that not surprise, like, that doesn't surprise me at all. Um, yeah, for sure. Mm. Um, okay, so what I'm as well seeing is that... <sighs> okay, I feel like you may, you know... Um, Yes, I'm asking about your first impression of them, but obviously a lot of different messages will also come through. And now he's just the messenger, so there are other messages which also you need to know. And what I'm picking up on is that you will meet this person definitely um, surrounded by other people. So it's not like, let's say, you are going to be somewhere alone and then this person is going to be alone and you're going to meet. No. With the Ten of Pentacles, um, <clears throat> excuse me, please, um, there are going to be other people around as well. However, I feel like this person somehow as well, um, okay, that's interesting how this works, um, but I feel like they're going to, they're also going to give up kind of like lone wolf vibes, like even if they are in a group setting there. You're gonna feel like um like there is something about this person kind of um like the hermit you know mm, being very like you're gonna see them okay i'm hearing you're gonna really see them as someone very strong inside you know someone like you're gonna feel like yeah this person knows who they are um they have everything put together and um they don't accept like any bs um so this is why I also said like people are going to be, yeah, you know, approaching them in a very respectful way because this person just doesn't, let's say, tolerate certain jokes which are, um, you know, like low-key, like going for them, you know. They're like, uh, people will definitely be, yeah, very um, careful because um, they don't want to make them mad not because like this person i don't know is like wants to fight everyone no um but because they are just someone you know maybe they help um people in some kind of way and this is why they are so respected or um it could be anything but they definitely are respected here and even okay that's i think that's what i'm picking up on even if this person, you know, you're going to see them in some kind of scenario in which they are surrounded by other people and they are interacting, uh, interacting, I'm sorry, um, you know, they are like, it, it seems like they are having a good time, you know, they are having conversations, everything. Um, but I feel like you're going to notice the fact that you somehow going to have the impression that this person, though, um, like, this is someone who who's very powerful when they're alone. Like, this is not someone who needs, let's say, other people. Um, they are someone who actually really likes to also be in their own space and just to be, um, yeah, to be with themselves. Maybe this is going to be something you're going to pick up because you're going to have, you know, you're going to talk with this person and um, you're going to notice that they may say something like, um, 
I really enjoy alone time or I really like to you know be for myself um like something like that it could be anything um but that's really what I'm picking up on you know they have a hermit like within themselves and um even if it maybe doesn't really show itself because especially in the kind of scenario you're going to meet each other you're going to pick up on that you're going to pick up on the fact that um this is someone who is really good at adapting to certain like different situations yeah they're a great communicator for sure also in those kind of scenarios in which a lot of people are surrounding them but they also really really value just to like they see quality time and being alone you know you're gonna see it like a hermit who um who knows how to use the kind of this alone time or isolation time for the best way possible they also really value and they understand um yeah the worth or the value of being by yourself that's something they definitely see so um a small message what i'm picking up on is that if some of you guys as well if this is some mirroring energy in some you know in which some of you guys also really um value your alone time or it's very important for you you know within um a relationship to also have time for yourself and not constantly like be with someone who just won't give you space or time for yourself you know and this is someone who will definitely give you that because they also need it themselves for sure to recharge to um yeah, just to connect with themselves again you know that's very crucial very important for them and i feel like for you guys as well you're gonna also um notice about this person that they are either pretty traditional or that there is something um old-fashioned about them and i'm actually already picking up on what it is um with the four of wands i'm sorry the four of cups Mm, yeah being here as well and the ten of pentacles this is someone who um who's looking for serious things um so this is like this is someone that say if someone approaches them maybe this will be even something you will see um who knows but like if someone approaches them for something casual or you know like they will definitely reject those offers because this person knows exactly what they want and they are very very patient let's say this person knows that they want like the next person um they want to be with is their spouse as an example so whatever or, or whoever doesn't really kind of go into this um wish that they have they will not um like they will reject it because they will not see any like reason for kind of getting involved with someone if this person doesn't fit let's say their um yeah their want of like the spouse that they are searching for so this is definitely someone who gets offers but um they don't just take anyone or they have like, let's say someone approaches them for something casual then they will definitely not be open for it because again they're looking for something traditional for something f like honestly what i'm picking up on is marriage or something long term right so they're looking for someone who um who fits that who has the same mentality or with whom they can actually imagine you know creating such a thing even family um or let's say some kind of investments like such as buying house um buying a place with each other you know very very serious energy this person is looking for and this will be something you're going to pick up on that this person is definitely very very protective of their energy like big time my dear um this could be one of the first impressions you're going to have of them that they are defensive um guarded and that they don't just let anyone kind of inside their circle they may not be open you know to chit chat with just anyone or um you know yeah they're very collective um i'm sorry selective <laughs> they're very selective you know with like who they allow in their circle you know and they can be i mean it's their own free will they can do whatever they want but that's what i'm seeing here yeah Mm, let me see 
what I can pick up on some more. Another thing, um, another thing that I'm picking up on here for my dear pile too is that it could be the case that this person also was wearing something formal. So um, you guys could be meeting in some kind of scenario or in some kind of circumstance in which people wear formal clothes did i already say that i feel like i already said this um but yeah you you're not gonna be alone you know they're not gonna be alone either either you're gonna have like friends with you family or even maybe colleagues you know if this is some kind of like work environment um so you're gonna see them interacting with other people you know you're gonna see this and um yeah mm. and maybe through that you're gonna somehow feel like you know they're just kind of in their own circle and with you know when someone approaches them let's say perhaps they're not going to be open for it but honestly speaking um i don't know why i'm picking up on the fact that at this day or no matter what kind of scenario this is you're going to meet um they're gonna they're not gonna smile um too much you know, um, like this for some could be definitely some kind of work field in which people need to be serious. Um, or maybe this person just at that day, um, you know, yeah, just has experienced something. Um, but, um, but this is more so, let's say, how you're going to see them interacting with other people. I am not getting any messages that's really weird um, regarding how they're going to be when they interact with you because for instance pal one this came through like big time you know the interaction that they had with their future spouse and how they're going to come across this is really like i feel like you guys are going to absorb this person you're going to see them and you're really going to yeah um observe their move you know observe how they are with others and um so this is why i feel like this is only um about how they're gonna be with other people not how they're gonna be with you so you're gonna see them for a while for sure and you may even exchange um eye contact is something that i'm also picking up on here yeah but that's very interesting another thing that i'm picking up on with the ten of pentacles being here um you somehow could be picking up on the fact that this person could be um good off financially speaking maybe because of I don't know, you know, um, <laughs> maybe because of what they're wearing, um, somehow it shows itself, or just in general, like, this person is very comfortable financially, and one way or another, you're gonna definitely pick up on that, yeah. So, my dear pile two, please feel free to let me know, yeah, how you feel about this reading, and also, my dear, if you would like to give some feedback, then you can also feel free to comment or like, subscribe if you haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me or you would like to get further information regarding one, then of course, you can also feel free to email me. Lastly, my dear, if you would like to connect with me even more, my channel's Instagram account is in the description box down below. And of course, I invite you there as well. But yeah, my dear pal too, <laughs> take care. Hey pal 3, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see what will be your first impression of your future spouse. So for my dear pile 3, what will be your first impression of your future spouse? For my dear pile 3, let's see. For pile three, what will be your first impression of your future spouse? All right. Let's start. Let's see for my dear pile three. Oh, oh, okay. We got the six of pentacles. We got the three of wands. Let's continue. Wow. Okay. We got the magician. What is this? The page 
page of pentacles for my dear pile three okay the six of wands the four of pentacles the justice card <laughs> and one last card please okay too many cards only one last card please one last card okay interesting and we got the ten of swords at the back of the deck we got the high um yeah i wanted to say the hierophant um i mean the high priestess <laughs> all right uh, everything looks good as well so um for my dear pile two i'm sorry pile three why did i say pile two um hey maybe someone watching this was drawn to pile two then of course feel free to watch it but so um the first thing that i'm picking up on here is that okay you guys have manifested your future spouse um that's the first message that i um that i'm seeing here and i have two scenarios here whether like it could be the fit case first of all um some of you guys could have already met your like future spouse and um you're kind of manifesting a reconciliation with them and that's what's coming through or for others, if this is actually like you haven't met this person yet and it's going to be um, the first meeting and the first impression, then what I'm seeing is that um, still you guys could have, you know, actually done some manifestation, you know, in order to, to bring someone in, you know, someone who, um, who could be a potential, you know, spouse regardless um of which one of those will resonate with you um i'm definitely seeing that it really feels like a successful manifestation here so you're really gonna um yeah you know like be aware of that plus the high priestess is the overall energy for you guys so you are definitely um like very let's say um awakened when it comes to your spiritual journey you guys are very spiritual you guys are very intuitive you may be even doing um certain let's say spiritual practices yourself so um it's a part of your life you know and yeah you definitely have oh my goodness why um i don't get it like for quite a time like i think in three readings now um the high priestess and the magician always come through like together um and that's like such a special thing um because like it it has never happened to me you know but for some time now it always happens and maybe you guys are coming from other readings in which this has happened you know um and this is definitely your confirmation that this is your pile um but you guys are great manifestors okay you are great manifestors and yes a lot of you guys will definitely um manifest your future spouse so i will go to the you know first impression in a minute but this is still a message that i'm picking up on and i need to talk about so for those of you guys who are still right now in the making of manifesting this person i'm hearing be very specific be as specific as possible um, regarding certain qualities that you would like your future spouse to have. Let's say um, my future spouse is um, understanding, loyal, you know, um, lovely, kind, you know, whatever it is. But be very, very specific. That's a message that I picked up on here, my dear. Yeah. All right. So coming back to the first impression so first of all once again you're going to notice that um yeah you have manifested this person for sure and um with the high priestess and the magician being here i need to say it i need to say it when those archetypes come through together um for me those are together you know the magician and the high priestess are counterparts for me um and what I see is that you're going to recognize them. You know, you have the high priestess, like you're going to be so like, um, so intuitively aware and you're going to know what's up, you know, you like, you're going to understand it from a higher perspective. You're going to see that you've manifested them. You're going to recognize them, um, as your counterpart. 
um, honestly speaking, this is soulmate energy for me. Um, take it how it resonates. It could even be twin flame or um, there's just this energy here that you guys have definitely did. Like you did it um, be like before actually reincarnating, you guys wanted to meet each other in this lifetime to yeah, go through different experiences together perhaps even with a certain mission, you know, a certain spiritual mission or um, even like when we talk about the world, you know, could even be a mission there. Maybe you guys raising the consciousness or somehow, you know, um, bringing awareness, you know, it could be anything or helping other people. But that's what I'm seeing here for you, my dear pile three. Um, and I do feel like you're going to see them and you're gonna recognize them so you guys are very very psychically um gifted and you know what's happening you know like it's not like something you're gonna um like it's gonna take you a very long time to catch up um no you're really gonna understand what's happening here and i feel like this is why um at first it could even be a little bit overwhelming for you guys you know the first impression regarding them because you're going to understand that this could be someone very very significant and um you know it may kind of um shock you for a second or um you may not like you may be very very cautious or very no, not cautious very very careful that's what i mean you may be very very careful on how to go about it because um you want this to be a balanced situation, you know, so I feel like you may not even do anything for some time. Like, let's say um, if you think about approaching them, you're just going to sit there and just think about it, but you're not going to do it because there is just going to be something holding you back. So I feel like your future spouse for um, for a lot of you guys, your future spouse is going to um, eventually be the one approaching you. But you, of course, um, for the majority of you guys, um, but it could still be the case that you're going to have those thoughts um, because, yeah, you, you're just scared of missing the opportunity, honestly speaking. Like, you're going to feel like, oh my goodness, like, I need to um, talk to this person or I somehow need to, like, um, get to know them, you know, because you're going to have those intuitive hints yeah let me see let me see another thing that i'm picking up on is that it's very interesting we got six six here um so you're gonna see your future spouse as someone who who's very balanced first of all so um you're definitely someone who is very in tune with energy okay so let me tell say it that way in this pile we have something um that i didn't got like that in the other piles which is that you're not gonna only um let's say observe this person with your two eyes you're gonna observe them energetically you know you're gonna feel their vibe you're gonna feel what they're up to and you're gonna notice how balanced they are you know and how healing they also are and it's definitely, I mean, they are the magician, you know, they're coming off as the magician for sure. And I'm not talking here gender wise, okay? It doesn't matter um, who you're attracted to, you know, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking energy here. And you're going to notice in their energy how balanced they are, you know, and as well how powerful you are, uh, how powerful they are. I feel like you're going to notice the strength and the um the power you see within yourself within your own spiritual um journey you're also going to notice them that in them and it could even be the case that they are not even aware of it right um they could be someone who's not that spiritually let's say aware but that doesn't even matter because um they will still have those gifts you know um it's not like people who are just aware of their spiritual journey will have certain gifts or certain abilities no you're born with them um i mean as an example there are so many people out there who do like business let's say decisions um 
and they're so good at it, you know, and like people feel like they are talented, um, but they may also do a lot of it with their intuition, you know, the intuition kind of leads them, they may not really understand, that's the, you know, their intuition, they may just feel like it's, it's just, it, it's a knowing, <laughs> like they just know, it's a feeling that they have, you know, so you don't need to be aware for it, um, for it to still be there. So that's what I'm seeing here. Um, this person is, um, okay, with the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Wands being here, this person could be well-known or they could be famous or popular or um, successful in their work field. They could literally help other people out as well, maybe in their work field or somehow their work involves helping others or bringing some kind of balance um, into people's lives. Or if it's not that, then they just could be very, very generous um, with their resources to help others. But you're going to pick up on that, you know. Maybe someone is going to talk about it or you're just going to know that about them. Um, you know, or it's somehow going to be exposed to you. Really, really going to see them as somehow um, very, very, like, um, generous, you know. Someone who's open to help, someone who has a very good heart, you know. Someone who shares their um, their resources. Someone who shares their um, their good nature with others. And with the six of penta, um, I'm sorry, six of um, wands being here, you're definitely as well going to be very, very um, impressed by that because you're going to see that they are a really, really good person. You know. Um, let me see. Yeah, you know, um, for a lot of you guys, once again, you're going to notice that this person is the one you have been manifesting and um, you just, you're going to think about how to perhaps, you know, like start a conversation with them or how to get closer with them and um, <laughs> like, I just see you, like, I know I've talked about this, but it's coming through again, like, I just see you literally sitting somewhere and going through all those possibilities that you could do um and how they may end you know and um <laughs> like this is so cute like you're really gonna try to um understand you know how to deal with that what's very funny here though is that um for some of you guys there is this you know mirroring energy in here in, in which your future spouse is actually going through something very, very similar. They're also going to um, think about how to approach you. Because it's not only you, okay? We also, like, it's not only the high priestess noticing the magician. It's also the magician noticing the high priestess, you know? Um, both parties. So they're going to going through something similar. Um... I feel like though you, if we say like spiritually speaking, you're going to understand more so what's happening. Um, let's say that this could be a very high like or important relationship um, or a person in your life. You're going to be more so, you know, um, understanding it from, let's say, a spiritual point of view. But regardless, they're going to catch that as well. Like they're going to catch up on that as well. And um they're gonna also be um, kind of mm, yeah calculating their next move you know um, because with the justice being here like both of you guys are really concentrating on you know getting the justice or bringing the best case scenario out there you know like um, with other words getting to know the other person, you know, starting contact, um, and so on. So it will definitely happen. I mean, obviously we're talking about your future spouse here, so it needs to happen, right? So you will get the justice, both of you guys. But I just feel like it could be a struggle, um, like you kind of, you know, but it's more so in your mind, I feel like, like mm, thinking about how to go about this, you know, that's what I mean. Yeah. Um, another thing that I'm picking up on is that, okay, this is also an extra message here. It could be the case that this relationship will, um, develop, like, let's say, 
um, slowly. So it's not like a very rushed, you know, energy in which, yeah, you just run into it and then that's it. No, it's very like, I'm hearing firm foundations. It's very slowly, like with the page of pentacles as well. Um, this is earth energy. So it's very um, slow, but steady. Okay. And I don't want to um, like, I definitely see that. For some, this could annoy you or this could like, could, yeah, make you feel some type of way because, um, yeah, you may want this to grow faster or you would want this, like those things to happen more quickly. Um, so yeah, it definitely going to make you feel some type of way, but you need to understand that it's actually happening so this relationship can build itself on firm foundations you know so yeah it's not because um this person is not interested or things are not ideally going the right way for you guys it's just that um, both of you are gonna kind of slowly you know build it slowly but very very steady like it's gonna be more stable than let's say you let's say you if you would like um crash into this very very fast the relationship would not be as stable as it is shown right here with this slow energy that's what i'm picking up on here for sure in this scenario mm. yeah that's what i'm seeing here so it may you know yeah it may for some time annoy you a little bit that things are going so slow but if you see it from a higher perspective you would understand that there is a reason for it okay there is a reason for it for sure yeah for some of you guys it could even be the case that you will meet this person um at a time in your life where you will end something so there will be an ending and um like let's say an ending of a chapter in your life and then this person will come through that's another message that i'm picking up on here yeah Ooh. okay the ace of wands and the page of wands here okay um i feel like a reason why you guys are gonna somehow or why you're forced you know by the energies by the universe you know um whatever you individually believe in um the reason why you're gonna kind of be forced to slow it down a little bit is because it's very very intense in fact um ace of wands in this particular um energetical combination let's say is giving me major sexual energy so it could be the case that for you guys you're actually going to be very, very sexually attracted towards each other. And um, if you would move on to like fast into this like um, passionate energy, it could, you know, sabotage things I'm hearing. Um, I'm not seeing more information regarding how or what it will include, but I'm just hearing that the reason why it needs to be grounded first is because the passion may... Um, make it like move too fast or um make it not go where you would like it to go and you guys obviously watching this um i feel like you would like marriage right so so there is a reason why it's going slowly okay and why the passion is kind of being um like there is a break you know so you guys don't yeah don't lose yourself in this passionate connection so you also understand that okay yes it's very very intense it's an intense connection but there is more to this than just the sexual like aspect right and with the high priestess and the magician being here there is more to this relationship than just let's say um an ordinary relationship in which it's just about you guys it's also about you having an influence on others for sure yeah okay we got a lot of information regarding the relationship for you guys like pal one and two it was mainly only the first impressions but for you um there there's also a lot of messages regarding the relationship in itself so yeah um 
there's definitely a higher reason for that, okay? But yeah, my dear, pile three, please feel free to let me know, yeah, how you feel about this reading. And if it resonated with you or yeah, if you liked it, then feel free to share it with me. You know, comment, like, or also subscribe if you haven't. And if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, of course, you can also feel free to um, follow me there as well. And if you would like to get further information regarding a personal reading with me, of course, you can also feel free to email me. But yeah, my dear pal three, I'm wishing you all the best. And um, yeah, um, you know, feel free to let me know whether you have met this person already or not. Um, but yeah, my dear pal three, <laughs> take care.